Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gary, and today I'm going to guys a new tutorial on how to create your own displacement maps, and this is going to be kind of an add-on to the tutorial I did yesterday on a uh, displacement map header and a displacement glitch header, and then uh, this is going to be actually an updated version of a tutorial I did like a year and a half ago, you know, super old, so I'm going to be doing an updated version, you know, a lot more in-depth, a lot more explanatory for you guys, because I finally like, understand everything, I wasn't just making videos to make videos. So uh, basically, to get right into this, there's going to need just a few things you guys are going to need internet access on a computer or a iPad laptop whatever you guys are using for your uh, your designs you're gonna need a little bit of space on your hard drive not too much like a couple megabytes honestly and uh, basically that's really it so right now I have open in Photoshop is just a few displacement maps that I per excuse me I personally have this is from like a year ago on my laptop you know it's just from source Caesars really old pack and uh, they're nothing too special, just like uh, the foam from the sea, up close of uh, cells, and ponds and stuff like that. So uh, basically that's what this is, and uh, really easy to do, you know, it's not hard, but it does make a really big effect. So I'm going to pretty much show you guys how you can get these and how to get your own. So if you head over to Google, you guys can type in pretty much anything with the word up close at the end of it. So I typed in like broken glass up close. And then you guys can get this, and or broken ice, sorry. And then you guys can get stuff like this. So let's just say you want to use something like this. You want to grab the image, just hit view image, and then it's going to come up on some other website. Or it's going to give you the direct link. You know, keep clicking through all the little stupid files. And then you'll get to this. You want to right click and copy it, and then go to Photoshop and go to File, New. And then just whatever width and height it is, just keep it the same and then paste it in. And then you want to go to your little adjustment things right here. Go to black and white. Just click out of that. Go to exposure. And take your gamma correction. And just bring that to your right. The offset to the left a little bit. And the exposure to the right. Alright. And then what you want to do is you want to take the background. Hit control J. And go to filter. Um, I believe it's blur. No. Noise. And go to dust and scratches. And you want to take the radius, and you want to bring the radius up to like probably like eight. All right. So this is going to be one displacement map. So what you can do after this is you're going to go to File, Save As, and you're going to just pretty much go on your desktop. You know, I already have a displacement map folder. You're going to call it displacements or displacement, and you're going to save this as let's just say one. So to use this as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my logo and shrink it. And let's just say I'm going to put on a black background. I'm going to highlight over my my logo, go to filter, distort, displace, and horizontal scale is how much things are going to go on horizontally, vertically is how much it's going to go on vertically. Obviously you want to put it a stretch to fit in undefined areas, just repeat or edge pixels, you know nothing too crazy and then you're gonna open up the uh, displacement pack just click the one and you can see that it adds a little displacement so basically it goes to however the picture is it pretty much kind of wraps your logo and breaks it apart to the picture so I'm gonna hit control Z I'm gonna show you guys more examples so obviously you can go back to Google and a lot of common things is water foam up close or like water seas or like ocean breaking and really it doesn't necessarily matter what they are, they're going to be doing the same effect. But let's just say we're going to grab this one, I'm going to head over to Google anyway. And you can type in, whoops, I'm looking at news, database glitch. Go to images, alright well that's not going to work, um, glitch texture. This is what, it's, what, it's called like a data glitch. And you guys can take, let's say, this one. So you, obviously you guys do the same thing. You take it, you're going to copy it, and then since you already have one of these made, you can just really paste it in and just hide the rest of them in the background. And then just go to File, Save As, and put it to like 2. Alright? So then you do the same thing to your logo. You're just going to test everything out on your logo. So you can just go to Filter, Distort, Displace, leave everything the same, and just click on 2 and this breaks it apart just like the glitches. So you guys can see that really it's meant for glitching things out and it's meant for uh, having kind of like the logo, it's called displaced obviously, but if people aren't recognized with that word, it's meant to like put everything in different orders or kind of break it apart in sec like different sections. 
so uh really google you can find an endless amount of things broken glass broken ice uh glitch textures you guys can scroll down glitch textures and grab any single one you want you can grab that one you can grab the sky you can pretty much grab anything you want it's going to be doing the same thing so uh thank you guys for watching this video this is going to be the tutorial you know i hope i explained enough for you guys um i'm going to leave in the description below a displacement pack that i use it's the one i made a while ago and uh haven't really gave it out to anybody you know it's source caesar's pictures you know they're just like foam and stuff with exposures on it so uh, definitely go in the description right now and download that it's gonna be a media fire link also if you guys want to add me on snapchat there will be a link in the description also and then lastly i'm running out of video ideas so definitely comment in the uh form below in the description of your own video ideas and we're gonna go from there so as i said before hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial hope you guys enjoyed the three uploads in a row and uh that's basically it so I'll see you guys later on and peace out